What's going on guys? We have a YouTube here back with another video. Uh, here with my buddy John Nash. Say hi John Nash. <laughs> Hello again. Yeah. Uh, he's back with his Dark World deck, uh, updating it from uh, the deck he uploaded a few months ago. So uh, let's get straight into it. New and improved. New and improved, yeah. Okay. Over to you Mr. Nash. Really, really quickly, I'm going to skip through all the basic cards because there's no point. If you want more explanations, the last video has a lot of them. So, you know, three of these bombs. Just going to put them to the side. Uh, it's got Sgraffa, three Snows. Searchability. Yeah, it's everyone runs these cards. Three Braz. Draw a pirate. Those are in every single Dark World deck. No point talking about. Okay, two Silvas. Um, there's a lot of discard ability, if that's even a word, in uh, this deck. <laughs> Pretty sure it's not. And um, <laughs> it's it's you know I, I like having I like having two Silvas. I got rid of the beige for Silvas because um, with them you can make the the, the exceeds and uh, yeah I just think they're. Uh, they're, they're, they work in this deck. There's just a lot of discardability, discardability in this deck. Um, three tour guides. Because uh, they're awesome. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to talk about why tour guide is awesome, but also in this deck, uh, they're dark and fiend, so they can remove the gates, and uh, they're just... Yeah, just, yeah, just, just you don't even need Sangin, because you bring Brow out. Oh, yeah, yeah, you don't need them at all. Uh, three Dagdans. Still, got to rock those three Dagdans. Um, um... Three dealings, still gotta rock those. Probably necessary. Uh, I'm going fast just because. Uh, That's fine. Yeah. Okay, this is a new uh, new thing. Three part of is, you know, this is kind of weird, but it actually works pretty well. And it really works well in the uh, second and the third duel. Um, I'm just sort of playing around in the first duel. I think I think it's a good a good side deck because one of the reasons is, you know, okay, what do people side in? Shadow Mizzard, Mirrors, Macro Cards, blah blah blah. If you pot it while you could pot it while and then get say an MST and then you you could make sure that you have something to counter when they flip over their mirrors and blah blah blah. And this is just really good. Say sometimes you just need a card to like go off. And, like imagine pot adding into a card destruction. Like I know you can't spell you Yeah, you wouldn't be able to special any of the stuff. Yeah, you wouldn't be yeah, that turn, but see I have a lot of I I have a lot of traps and say say you use pot it you get whatever you want and you set a bottomless trap hole or you set a torrential or you set a song morning and then you're safe for the next turn. I it's a I think it is good in the second duel though, because if you're staring at Shadow and Brizzing Mirror in the face and you can't get rid of them, then ugh, you know it's just the worst thing in the world. So I'm trying to combating that. So it's kind of funny. I'm kind of playing with it, but I think it'll work pretty well. Uh, the two gates, um, yeah, two because you can search them out. Three is too many. Yeah. If, you, if you open up with. But you can play gates over gates and then use the effect again. Do you not ever do that? You can, but like I just really don't want to draw them too early, like. Yeah, when one. you don't have a graveyard set up. Yeah, and plus, plus most of the time, that's what you search. What sort of search with snow? Um, mm -hmm. It's either that or graphas or dealings, but most of the time it's a gate, so snow turns into gates, sort of. Uh, really obvious magic traps. Blah, 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 blah. Capital G said that card destruction was broken. Do you agree with that statement? <laughs> uh, in Dark Worlds it is, but I, <clears throat> I wouldn't ban it because they need powerful cards like that. I mean... Just because it's good and a deck doesn't mean you should ban it. I mean, yeah, yeah. the deck needs that. I mean, Dark Worlds are, aren't really rampant, so why why weaken them even when they don't need to be weakened? I guess. Uh, two skill drains. Because it doesn't affect them at all. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, one skill drain. It's that, it's that simple. The two mind crushes, uh, definitely still got to use those. Those are just... After drag downs, they're amazing. They're two broken drag downs. I mean, it's, it's, it's surprising how often you'll... You'll draw. You'll use a drag down and then just have a mind crush. Like they just like it's like they it's like they're stuck together in the deck. It's really <laughs> it's quite funny. Uh, two bottomless is more of a field control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's necessary because like good against cast dragons. It's good against cast dragons and yeah, you really really need it. Um, two torrentials also. Just go in the format. Yeah, definitely in need general. it, and uh, you don't care if you torrential your own graphic because you just bring them back. This uh, I saw them last time, but due to the fact that he kind of. He gets a lot over. He gets over a few chaos dragon stuff, and, and then Rabbit and his actors and wind up. So uh, he has to come back in, definitely. Definitely for wind ups. Um, and good old song. So yep. that is the deck, really. I I got rid of the recklesses because I don't know. I kind of like. I don't mind playing. You know, that's kind of the more turbo build. You know, go crazy and explode in one turn. But I'm kind of. This is more of a. Uh, Kind of a consistent, like a sort of win of a, the battle of attrition, kind of a kind of a deck, and not sort of you don't have to go crazy. And plus, right. only getting one reckless was kind of not the best. Okay, right, uh, let's check out the extra. Yeah, extra. 
Adrius, uh, you can make them with the Silvas. You don't make them so often because there's only two of them, but... Just get level fives together, I reckon. Yeah. Adrius, Adrius, Tyrus, and Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja, right? Yep, Tyrus, uh, Gaia Dragon, in case Tyrus is going to run around materials or the ninja. Uh, Utopia, Leviathan, uh, Crimson Shadow, Proper Operative, Gem Knight, um, and then Stardust, Chaos, Archfiend. Tell us, about, tell us about this guy. Oh, uh, this guy's fun. Uh, obviously, yeah, you make him with uh, the Fable Raven. He's just fun. He's twenty six hundred on both, and you can st his effect is you switch the you switch the attack and defense of everything, and uh, that pretty much makes him be able to get over everything. <laughs> yeah, I can't think of anything except for like really crazy cards like Ultimate Dragon or something. So uh, you know, or five headed. He's just kind of a fun <laughs> card. Yeah. Oh yeah, five headed too. Five thousand defense points right there. He's a uh, he's kind of a fun card. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't think he's the best in the world, but he is fun, that's for sure. And he makes people say, what the hell is that? Uh, Brio, Taster, uh, Sacred Ribbon, Scrap, and Black Rose. Um, obviously, I don't have, unfortunately, Zen, Zen mains, but it's getting reprinted, so. Hell yeah, it is. Thank God. Um, <laughs> All right. Side deck. Side deck stuff. Beige. Um, I think I I think I was really considering on maining him, but I just took him out because of the Silvas and... Yeah, I just thought I'm just gonna try Silvers right now, and he might go back in though. He does have his place. Uh, an Archfiend, just one. Uh, I just couldn't, ha just didn't have the room really for the ones. Um, this is mo this looks more like a testing side deck than a, a competitive side deck, kind of. Like yeah, but testing out stuff and tech is, cards and things. But dark world side decks are usually um, for themselves rather than. Yeah, they are for themselves because they can kind of beat any deck as long as they they're left to themselves. It's, it's when other decks you know, get these cards that shut down their deck, that's the problem. Um, Morphing GR, you know, Morphing GR, he's good. Raven, um, it sucks when he gets effect failed, that's why he's in the side. And, okay, and the 3 MST, I'm not meaning the, uh, the Heavy Storm, you might have noticed, and the 2 Dust. Um, dust really went for when people just tried all that crap against it. And this is really what I hope to pot into it, into duality, like, they have all a big setup and you do out into Heavy Storm. This is why this stuff is here. I just I just can't play you just can't play Dark Ones against the Shadow Freezing Mirror, so this is really what the dualities are for. Get this stuff and uh continue your strategy. Mm hmm Uh Book of Moon, you third, know. Third gates. <laughs> yeah, the third gates. Um yeah, I think you need a third gates game two and three if, if people are signing a lot of MSTs and stuff. Because if this if this card is left on its own, like you just get pluses every single Every single time, and then like you're doing stuff like you're say you, say you discard it with the discard of silver, and then you get it, then you bounce it back, and then um, you know then you can bounce the silver back to your hand with the graffa, and then you can just remove and discard the sil same silver again, and then bounce that silver back, and you just like you're discarding, but you're not really losing anything. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Two solemn warnings. Um, I probably side these out against. Uh, the reason I'm warning them is because with skill drain, it's just that has a lot of life points. I just can't pay all that, and um, I have stuff like be it bottomless and torrential, and mm -hmm. these, they'll, they'll go in against like you know stuff that stuff you really need to stop like rabbit. I would definitely put them in against rabbit because if you saw on the rabbit, then who cares? They're not going to be happy. Yeah, they're not going to be happy at all. And you're going to take damage anyway, so that has to be against rabbit. And the last card is um, return, is it? <laughs> No, this is just that's so that, that that that's oh yeah yeah I forgot about this yeah turn the the dimension yeah uh, it's awesome kick ass because when they side in macro you just side in that and then just fuck with them <laughs> yeah this is this is a, this is this is a lot of fun the DD crows and also you can do things like um, so you activate it and you bring back something you removed from gates like a brow okay Remove, get back the brow like this is obviously not the best move in the world but get back the brow and then just like bounce the brow back to your hand and that way it doesn't get removed at the end of the turn for graphic mm -hmm. or get back like. Because what you end up removing with gates is like snows and brows, and if you get like return and bring back two snows and then just overlay them for something, and then that way they don't need, they don't they attack with them both, and then they overlay them so they don't go away at the end of the turn. Yeah. All right. And then um, just just a gateway, um, mainly to be used in the opponent's turn. Yeah. Or in the end phase. Yeah, yeah in the end phase. Get it's the only time you ever really use yeah. it, I think. So that's it. That's it for the deck. All right. Guys, thanks for watching. Um, we're going to go have some dinner now and then catch a movie. That's so. what the doorbell was. <laughs> That's what the doorbell was, yeah. <laughs> Tasty pizza, guys. <laughs> All right, I'll catch you guys later. Um, say goodbye, Mr. Nash. Peace out, homeboys. Peace out. I'll be opening up more videos soon, so keep an eye out for those. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.